when working with CSS specificity, it's one of the most important things to avoid being stuck for a long time because when you apply some styles, then you forget or maybe you miss why it's not being applied. I'm sure it has happened to you that you're trying to make something blue and it doesn't turn blue and you try and try. So that's probably could be that you're missing a selector. So you're, you're mistyping it with a misspell or the concept problem that you forgot to put the dots at the beginning of the class or something like that. But the most challenging ones are not the names of the classes or, or things like that, or the selector. The most challenging part is when two styles are colliding with each other. And the way to fix that is with specificity. In the exercise 0 0.5, I talked about specificity more. We're in the 0 0.7 right now. So I'm gonna be practicing specificity. If you wanna learn more about specificity, you can go to the number five. So the we're gonna be practicing some things. So let me just click build here. You're gonna find the entire exercise here. Uh, it's just some HTML with some very basic styles just to demonstrate what I'm talking about. And then we're gonna be applying some very specific styles so that you can see how it works. Um, the CSS right now has only two styles. It has, uh, well, three actually. It has body that's making everything blue. And then it has UL, ULLI and OLLI that is making it green. So if you see the code, you have everything blue, but these two are green because they are more specific. There's already something here, right? If you right click, you will see it. Look, if you right click and inspect, you will see that the color green is being applied, but also the color blue. But who's winning? Green, because it's more specific. I can actually disable this one and you'll see how it turns blue. But if I disable blue, it, it all goes black, but the green keeps being green. Okay. So that's how you will debug. That's how you will see who's winning what. This is a debugging tool. It's the best tool to, to be able to understand specificity or any issues with specificity. Let's start with the exercise. Telling you set a UL text color to red. Okay. Override conflict with specificity. Set the UL, the UL, oh, well, yeah. This exercise is telling me that I cannot write code here. I have to put it here. So what happens if I say here, it's saying, Set the UL, the UL text color to red. So I'm, obviously my instinct will tell me just make it red. You know, all the ULs, I want them red. But what will happen? That if I test it, you'll see that it's not turning red. And if you inspect in the Google inspector, the UL this is our, an OL, so it's not this one. It's the one below, I guess. Let me see. Yeah, this is our, an, an, a UL look. It's saying color blue, red. And it's not cross market. Look, it doesn't have a, a strike through or a, a line through. This one has it, but still it doesn't look blue. It looks green because I applied to the UL and the allies are smaller, are childs of the UL. So I have to apply it to this one. And you can see that in this one, the battle is losing. Look, the battle of styles. Look, you have first you're applying the color blue, then you're applying red and then you're applying the green. In, the, in three different ways with three different selectors. Who's winning the more specific? Because the UL is more specific than body, of course, but it's not more specific than ULLI because ULLI is saying all the allies inside ULs. It's more specific than saying just all the ULs. So I have to be as specific. So what I can do, for example, I could put for, if I want here, I can say body, UL, LI. And maybe I will win, let's see. There it is, I won, because I'm more specific. I added an additional layer of specificity here. Next, set the background color of the second ally of the OL to green. The second ally of the OL. Don't use the ID selector. Yeah, I cannot just go here and in the second OL. So this is the OL, so this one. I cannot just go here and apply like an ID like this. No, no, no. You have to do it without it. So how can we do that? We can say... I want all the ULs, all the allies inside those ULs, ULs or OLs, let me see, OLs, yeah. But only the second one, so NTD child 2. And I want to make it color, it's color, the background color, so background, 
the background, I want to make it green. Let's see if it works. One, two, three. It does, look. Why is it working? Because it's very specific. If you right click here, you'll see. It's like all the allies inside the OLs, but only the ones that have are the second child. So it's only one. It's, a very, it's really hard to beat the specificity that this particular selector has. It's very specific. I think it's, you can get more specific, but it's weird. You normally don't want to, don't, don't end up using this type of tricks too much, just for little tricks. And then make the odd rows of the table with yellow background using Entity's child. Okay, so there's is, as you can see in the, in here we have a table at the bottom. So this table, it's here. And we can, we can um, apply it saying that the odd ones, the odd ones to be yellow. So we're going to do it. We're going to make a table, the rows, right? Yeah, the, the rows. So the rows are TRs. So table TR. And then I can say background. And they want me to put background. Background. They want me to put it in yellow. So yellow. Yellow. My sword. I'm sorry. This is a colon. There it is. So let's see if it works. Well, this is going to put all of them. I have a misspell. Oh, yes, you're right. It's here. There you go. Okay. All of them are yellow, but I only want the odd ones, right? So I'm going to have to... Maybe I can say... Um, Ntth child of type. Represents that I mean the type that that. A plus one. No. Child. Maybe I can put... I don't know. Let me Google it. Google. So I'm going to say... Uh, odd elements ntth child css table rows i don't know i put a very big query let's see even or not rules oh yeah i can just put even yeah look like this i can just say even instead of just saying the number i'm used to saying the number but i can just say here even and that should work let's see yeah look this is normally what people use for making tables easier to read. Because when you when you when you make a odd odd rows in a different background, it's a lot easier to read. If you compare what we have with because this is what we have, look, and this is what they asked us to have. So you can see that it's the exact same thing. So that's it. I hope you value more and understand specificity because it's, it really matters. Good luck.